what's going on guys welcome back to another black ops 4 video today i want to share with you guys some in-depth tips on how to win more gunfights now i'm going to be going over some general tips and then i'm going to be moving on to tips that are more specific to black ops 4 these are tips that i personally feel are super important in the game as far as multiplayer goes and winning those gunfights granted you're not going to win every single gunfight but best believe with these tips you will optimize your chances of winning more gunfights than you normally do and you know let me know in the comments if you have tips of your own on how to win gunfights so my first tip is a very obvious one but I feel like a lot of people tend to forget why they're losing gunfights. And tip number one is to work on your sensitivity. Find out what sensitivity you feel is more comfortable to you. So I may tell you, I personally run between a six and a seven sensitivity, both vertical and horizontal. You try it out and you're like, damn, this doesn't feel good to me at all. I'm still doing poorly in the game. And that's why you made that mistake of using what I use, thinking it's gonna work for you. Sensitivity is going to vary from person to person and it all really depends on what you're comfortable with so my recommendation for finding out what sensitivity works for you would be to go in a private match start off at a very high sensitivity i would say maybe around a 12 or a 13 something like that and then work your way down until you find that sweet spot that's how you figure out how to find your best sensitivity. There's no magic number that's gonna work for everybody else. One can argue that going at a lower sensitivity will help with your aiming accuracy and all that because the weapon is not going to move as nearly much as it would if your sensitivity was a lot higher because of course your thumbs are controlling the thumbstick. Therefore, the aiming is going to be compromised in a sense. So that would just be my personal recommendation and practice and practice and practice. Find that sensitivity and then uh stick with that sensitivity that's how you improve your aiming all right so now let's talk about pre-aiming i'm talking about pre-aiming down every corner into every door every line of sight every turn that you make you need to pre-aim in order to get ready for potential gunfights that might happen or enemies that come out of nowhere that you didn't even know were there so that's why pre-aiming is super important because you're already ready you're aimed in pre-aiming down every corner every line of sight is going to give you a really big advantage in winning a gunfight versus the person who just walks around every corner and doesn't even really think to expect somebody to be there they are going to get caught by surprise and not going to get ready to win that gunfight if you watch people's gameplays on youtube like myself or pro players one thing that you will notice is that every time that they're moving into a different area of the map they're always pre-aiming in so these little things they do contribute to the bigger picture which is obviously the end result of winning a gunfight so the second thing that falls into this category is pre-firing i'm talking about shooting around areas where you know enemies will be so predicting enemies movement is a really really big big factor in winning those gunfights as well have you ever been in those situations where you're in a ring around the rosy type of situation where you see one enemy from one side of the object let's say there's a car right and you see an enemy to the right side of the car he sees you as well you guys are shooting at each other so he moves to the left if you can predict where he's gonna be at and you pre-fire that he is going to be going to the left side of the car this time you are gonna win that gunfight because you predicted where he's gonna be you're gonna win those gunfights a lot more especially in those type of situations knowing where the enemy is gonna be at and predicting it are definitely gonna give you big advantages in winning those gunfights my third tip is about positioning and movement what I mean by positioning is hugging the walls sticking to the outskirts of the map using objects for head glitching using objects for cover for example this area in jungle right here so I'm gonna stick to this side of the the house right here instead of being out right here in the open so if I'm advancing on this side of the map, you're going to you're going to want to do this, right? And you're going to pre-aim. So, let me just do a little playthrough first. So, I'm going to pre-aim as I'm moving down, I'm looking down into there, right? And then using this at the same time as a head glitch to see into that line of sight into that door there, right there as well, all right? So, let's move from here to there. How are we going to do that, okay? Let's do that like this. So, we're going to use this as cover, we're going to pre-aim right pre-aim 
and move in and slide just like that pre-aim down that pathway right there one thing that you noticed that i did here was that i was sliding and pre-aiming at the same time movement and speed is key in this game and that's what's going to help you win those gunfights so when you're sliding you're able to jump shot at the same time and slide therefore making yourself a harder target you always want to be in attack mode never never assume that there's not going to be any enemies around that's why i say pre-aim down every line of sight every corner that you turn it's super important pre-aiming pre-aiming i'm looking into there and in there and possibly there pre-aim boom check my corners i'm good pre-aim pre-aim see how i'm sticking to the sides of uh the house here i'm not just straight up going through the middle like this okay if you want to be sure stick to the sides move around the map like a snake be methodical about your uh your approach see how i'm sticking to the side over here instead of approaching the pathway right here on the outer end of the path you know so that's that's exactly what i mean by being very strategical about how you're placing yourself on the map that's how you're gonna win those gunfights there's a reason why there's things like this on the map it's supposed to help you in those gunfights you're gonna stand here right boom pre-aim move this way move this way crouch down pre-aim bam that 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 line of sight right there boom all right so the second half of this uh particular tip i want to go over is this jump shotting i already made a video about this if you want to check a more in-depth video about it you know the best button layout to get this uh achieved link will be down in the description down below or annotation on the screen so you guys can click on it but anyways uh basically what i'm talking about here is just jump shotting jump and shoot at the same time that will help you in a gunfight i'm jumping and shooting nothing else to it one more tip i want to add with jump shotting is sliding and shooting at the same time bam just like that slide from side to side slide from side to side that is like one of my favorite things to do when i'm using the jump shot uh, mechanic and also around corners you can jump shot around corners too you slide boom jump and shoot slide boom jump and shoot slide jump and shoot all right so that pretty much sums up the importance of positioning and movement as far as winning gunfights so apply this to your game and you will definitely see an improvement in winning those gunfights so now i want to talk about using the best guns in black ops 4 you need to use weapons that outclass most guns in the game for example we got the maddox we got the icr we got the spitfire we got the swordfish you know just to name a few those weapons are definitely going to outclass most of the guns in the game and another thing is how are you using that weapon for example are you using the spitfire on a huge map those type of weapons should not be used on bigger maps and of course it is entirely possible to use those weapons but we're talking about being optimal here for example on jungle you would want to use a weapon such as either the maddox or the icr you know there's a reason why there's different weapons in the game it's used for different maps different situations and every weapon has their own strength and weakness take the maddox for example the maddox is great as an all-around weapon don't get me wrong it's really great in small to medium sized maps which is mostly the maps in black ops 4 that's probably why the maddox is the most dominant weapon in the game and probably the most preferred by every pro player out there now if you were to use the maddox versus the icr on a map like iceberg or jungle and we're engaging in a long-range gunfight the icr is going to win that gunfight especially when you attach the double grip attachment you know that's just the reality of it the maddox may have a reputation for being the best gun in the game but for certain maps it is not going to compete at certain distances versus different weapons so that might be your problem right there you might be frustrated like why can't i win those gunfights well you have to take a look at the weapon you're using and just to add on to the weapons weaknesses and strengths for example if you're going to use an smg you don't want to be engaging in long-range gunfights with that one you want to be a little more methodical with your approach of how you use it you want to engage in gunfights that are very close to each other because that's where smgs shine the most that's just like a little small example of what i mean by being aware of the weapon that you're using and using its strengths to its potential and being aware of the weaknesses that it has now another key component to winning a gunfight is what kind of attachments you're using on your weapon so we talked about what weapons to use what maps to use weapons on and to be aware of their strengths now we're talking about the attachments 
So on every class setup, I try to look for either double grip stock or fast mags or extended mags. Those are the key attachments that I always look for in every single class when I'm trying to build a class setup that's going to help my cause, which is win gunfights. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to win gunfights, go on streaks, and those are the attachments that you guys want to use. Now, if you can put on double grip, that would be amazing. That would give you a straight shot, no flinch when you're getting shot at. Stock is a key attachment as well because it allows you to be more mobile when you're engaging in that gunfight and you're trying to move around the map, you're pre-aiming. It just makes your experience a lot easier. And especially when you're engaging in a gunfight, you, it allows you to be more evasive as well. And now another few attachments that I would like to talk about are fast mags or extended mags. Fast mags will allow you to jump back into the gunfight a lot quicker than versus without it because let's say you're shooting at the guy you're running out of ammo you got to waste time trying to find cover and then you got to reload your weapon but with fast mags it allows you to jump back into action a lot faster than expected so that's why i highly recommend putting on fast mags or extended mags if you have it or hybrid mags if possible because it gives you the best of both worlds reload your weapon fast and at the same time it gives you maximum ammo capacity uh, so a little bonus attachment that i would recommend would be the reflex sight or any type of optical sight i mean this one's pretty obvious it depends on your skill level of course but putting an optical sight on your weapon will definitely help with your accuracy when you're trying to engage in those gunfights therefore it's going to help you win the gunfights a lot easier all right so now let's talk about the perks so the perks in black ops 4 that you would want to use would be gung-ho and dexterity now let me get into dexterity in a little bit but gung-ho is basically a crutch perk that i run on every single class it doesn't matter what i'm using i'm always using gung-ho because it allows you to fire your weapon while you're sprinting and also recover from sprinting what the heck what's going on here i can't even understand myself yeah it allows you to recover faster from your sprinting as well so that's why i like gung-ho and like I keep saying again and again in this video, any kind of speed advantage over your enemies is going to help you win a gunfight. So let's talk about dexterity. A lot of, there's a lot of controversy. Ugh. There's a lot of controversialness. Oh my God, is that even a word? There's a lot of controversy going on around dexterity, whether it really works or not, as it's described, as far as improving the accuracy of your jump shot goes. But the reason why I would recommend dexterity, if you want to use dexterity, is for the sliding movement it allows you to slide a lot further than without it like i was showing you guys earlier in the video the sliding while jumping will help you in a gunfight because it allows you to be even more evasive to the enemy you know so for now it's definitely a gray area whether or not dexterity is a crutch perk for winning those gunfights but for the simple fact that it still works as far as the sliding mechanic goes i would highly recommend you use uh dexterity if you feel like it but for sure gung-ho is a perk that i recommend on almost every class all right so now the last component that i want to touch up on is the equipment that you should use in my experience i feel like the only two equipment that's worth using as far as winning gunfights goes and you know staying alive a lot longer would be the stim shot and the acoustic sensor stim shot allows you to stay in the gunfight a lot longer than usual because you shoot the person they're hurt they shoot you you're hurt what do you do you gotta hide to get cover and you're recovering yourself so in that time when you use stim shot the faster that you can recover yourself which is what it allows you to do the faster you can return to battle and that guy who's not using stim shot is gonna die because he's still healing himself the normal way so that's why i really like stim shot it gives you that advantage in winning those gunfights now the acoustic sensor is a little bit different but it still helps you win those gunfights because back to what i was talking about in the video about predicting enemy movement you know and pre-aiming and pre-firing and all that acoustic sensor will literally show you where enemies are coming from on your mini map it'll alert you in a red cone and you'll be like hey i know which direction to look at i know which direction to pre-aim at i know which direction to pre-fire at so that's why i recommend acoustic sensor if you want to go down that route because the acoustic sensor allows you to predict where the enemies are coming from it increases the volume of their footsteps and it shows you on the minimap where they're coming from. Either way, you're winning with either stim shot or acoustic sensor. It just depends on what your preference is and your play style and how you use it. And that about wraps it up for the seven key pro tips that you guys would apply to your game. If you did find this video helpful, please leave a like. It would really mean a lot to me. Subscribe if you're new. Turn them notifications on, by the way. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll be coming out with more tips and tricks, guys. I'll see you guys. I don't just put the cookie down the eye.
guy. He put it down and he, he got into the chopper. All right, peace.